Oilers TV is here at the Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, now joined by the voice of the Condors, Ryan Holt. Ryan, the Bakersfield Condors dropping back-to-back -back games over the weekend to close out this four-game homestand. But the sense that we get as Oilers TV in the week that we've been here is that head coach Jay Woodcroft and the players really liked their game post-Christmas. Yeah, 6-4-1 and post-Christmas for this Condors team. And I, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but for the Condors who have kind of been treading water for the first half of the season, uh, the Condors certainly have played better post-Christmas. The team has looked more like the team we saw last season. Now, that being said, certainly a, a sour taste in their mouth after the back-to-back -back home losses here uh, to Colorado and to San Diego. And one thing, uh, I think, an area that needs to be focused on moving forward, it, the third period has kind of been a bugaboo for this Condors team. They had a lead going into the third against San Diego, couldn't close it out on Saturday night, and that's something that is going to have to change moving forward. Now, that being said, Condors are in Ontario Monday, two points there, and you're right back into a playoff spot. So, albeit maybe not the the start the Condors have wanted to this season, the first half of the season the Condors have wanted. They're right in the thick of things in the Pacific, battling with Ontario and the team we just played uh, on Saturday night, the San Diego Gulls. Ryan, as you know, the Oilers fans are always in tune with the Bakersfield Condors, but this season they're keying in on two special players in the pipeline, that being Evan Bouchard and Tyler Benson. Let's begin with the former. Evan Bouchard comes in last season during the Calder Cup playoffs, puts up eight points in eight games, and this year he leads all AHL rookie D-men in goals. Yeah, seven goals on the season for Evan Bouchard, and his game has really taken off post-Christmas. So in addition to the Condors, Evan Bouchard's game's taken off post-Christmas. So uh, he's the quarterback of the team's number one power play. So he's on the top power play unit, the power play, eight for their last 16. So have really been humming here post-Christmas. And I think you're seeing the confidence of a guy like Evan Bouchard getting towards the latter half of the season. Now you're seeing a rookie defenseman who, let's face it, the American Hockey League is not an easy league, especially yeah. for a defenseman coming out of major junior yeah. he's only 20 years old sometimes we forget that yeah. even though he looks a lot older he carries himself a lot older just 20 years old so in the second half of the season I think you're going to see Evan Bouchard's arrow continue to point upwards and that's what you want to see I think if you're the Oilers I think if you're the Condors and I think certainly if you're the development staff here in Bakersfield. Evan Bouchard of course was drafted in 2018 10th overall by the Edmonton Oilers but let's jump to a prospect that was drafted two years prior that being Tyler Benson 32nd overall by the Edmonton Oilers he had 66 points in 68 games yeah. in his rookie season with the Condors. He's really been able to build off that. Yeah, he's leading the team in scoring once again and uh, he's a playmaker. That's what we know about Evan, Bo uh, Evan Bouchard and Tyler Benson, yeah. but uh, I call him the killer bees here in Bakersfield and <laughs> Tyler Benson for me is a guy who just finds himself in good areas to make plays, especially in the attacking zone and obviously he's played the majority of the season with Coop Marodi and with Josh Curry and they've had that connection going back to last season. Benson's going to represent the Condors at the HL All-Star yeah. Classic coming up uh, here next week so that's a, a big feather in his cap and the big thing for Tyler is he's spent the last two years healthy yeah. and that's just great to see he's yeah. had two full summers of being able to develop he's had two full seasons uh, of being able to develop and for him to be healthy and to be leading this team and scoring again I think speaks volumes and he's among the league leaders once again for Tyler specifically very quickly what does it do for a guy like him to see a guy like Kyle Yamamoto yeah. get the success he has with the Oilers well they're roommates uh, yeah. with uh, Bouchard and McLeod so that's uh, the fun house uh, here in Bakersfield <laughs> but um, for for Tyler to see a, a guy like Kyler go up and have such great success with the Oilers I think it only does wonders for guys that are here on that next cusp. You look at Caleb Jones and his success. Ethan Bear, who we thought might have been here in Bakersfield. Now he's up in the Edmonton Oilers, yeah. and he's a full-time player and established guy up there. So um, the next wave's coming, and I think you're seeing the development here in Bakersfield, and that's all you can ask for. The wins will come. Uh, you know, that's uh, you know secondary, I guess, to the development, but you want to win here in Bakersfield, yeah. and that's the, that's the nature of the beast, and uh, we'll see what happens. But Tyler's uh, right on the doorstep, and uh, certainly the next wave for the Oilers in the future. Smart. Hockey IQ and making his teammates look better. Those are characteristics that you can uh, maybe uh, expand upon Tyler Benson's game. But those are characteristics of Ryan Holt's game as well, especially with this teammate to his left. Uh, Ryan, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate your time. appreciate you guys being down here.